This is a tutorial on basic operations with polynomials. The first operation we're going to talk about is addition. When we add two polynomials, we can add them just like we add any other number. So when you write them out, just have to make sure you line up the terms. So if we start with 3x squared plus 2x minus 5, and then we add our next polynomial, just make sure you line up your squared terms, your x to the 1 terms. If you had a cube term, you want to line those up too. So when we add this second polynomial here, we'll just write the 4x squared underneath the 3x squared, the 2x underneath the other 2x, and then the minus 8. And then you can add them. So a minus 5 plus a minus 8 is a minus 13. A positive 2x and a positive 2x is a positive 4x. And a 3x squared plus 4x squared is a 7x squared. So our answer as we add these two polynomials would be 7x squared plus 4x minus 13. Now we don't usually add our polynomials vertically like this. Usually we add them horizontally when we do algebra. So you'll notice when we did this vertically, all we did was add the coefficients of the like terms. So to do that horizontally, we just start with our first term, we have a z squared, and we go to the next term and we look for any other z squared, which we don't have any in this second equation. So we just write our z squared. So we're done with that one, then we go to 2z, and we look for other z terms, or z to the 1 terms which we have a 4z here, so we would add those two coefficients, we'd end up with a 6z. So those two are done. Then we have our constant term of 1, so look for any other constant term and add it. We have a 1 and a minus 5, so this is a minus 4, so those two are done. And then we're left with this z to the third, so plus z to the third. Then we just rewrite this in standard form. We get z to the third plus z squared plus 6z minus 4. Now subtracting polynomials is just like adding polynomials. Again we just write it out and then we're going to subtract. Then you just got to make sure you line up your terms. So we have a 4x cubed there's no x squared in this second term. So you can leave that blank or you can think of this as 0x squared. Then we have a minus 10x and a plus 1. So now you can subtract these, but generally I like to switch this and make this an addition. And when you make this an addition, then you have to turn all of these terms into their opposite. So this becomes a negative 4x cubed well, 0x squared is still 0. A negative 10x would become a positive 10x, and then a plus 1 would be a plus negative 1. Now you can add this just like we did before. 10 plus a minus 4 is a 6x cubed. 4 plus 0 is still 4, so 4x squared. A negative 12x plus 10x is a minus 2x, and then a 3 plus a negative 1 is 2. So our answer then is 6x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 2. But again we can do this horizontally instead of vertically. And to do that, you just think of this minus sign as plus a negative 1 times our second term. So if that's a plus a negative 1, then you just distribute this negative 1 to both of these. So what you'd end up with is a 12x to the 4th plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 17 plus a negative 10x squared minus 20. So now that you've done that, again we're just going to add our coefficients of the like terms. We start with a 12x to the 4th, but there's no x to the 4th in our second polynomial, so that just stays. 12x to the 4th 
We have a 5x squared and then a minus 10x squared. So if we add those coefficients, we're going to get a minus 5x squared. Then we have a minus 7x, but there's no x in the second polynomial, so that just comes down, comes a negative 7x. And then 17 plus a minus 20 is a minus 3. So our solution then is 12x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 7x minus 3. Well, next we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials. Here we have two polynomials, and we're multiplying them, and we can do this vertically, just like any other number. So we have 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 8x minus 4, and we're multiplying that by x plus 3. So we start with the 3. 3 times negative 4 is a negative 12. 3 times 8x is 24x. 3 times a negative 2x squared is a minus 6x squared. And then 3 times 4x cubed is 12x cubed. And now we do the x, so x times a minus 4 is a minus 4x. x times 8x is a positive 8x squared. Negative 2x squared times x is a minus 2x cubed. And then x times 4x cubed is a 4x to the fourth. Now we just add these. We have a minus 12. We have a 24x and a minus 4x, so that's 20x. A minus 6x squared and an 8x squared is a positive 2x squared. A 12x cubed minus 2x cubed is 10x cubed. And then we don't have any other x to the fourth, so this is just 4x to the fourth. So our answer then is 4x to the fourth plus 10x cubed plus 2x squared plus 20x minus 12. Now you don't have to multiply vertically, you can multiply horizontally as well. And to do that, you just take each term in our first polynomial and you multiply it by every term in the second polynomial. So we would take this 3z squared and we would multiply it by z and then we would multiply it by the negative 1. Then we would take 12z and multiply it by z and then multiply it by negative 1. And then lastly, you take this ne negative 4 and you multiply it by z and you multiply it by negative 1. So let's do that. We start with the 3z squared. We take 3z squared and multiply it by z. We're going to get a 3z cubed. 3z squared times the minus 1 would be a negative 3z squared. So we're done with that first term. That's 12z times z is a 12z squared. 12z times a minus 1 is a minus 12z. And then our 4, we have a negative 4 times z, so that's a minus 4z. And then minus 4 times minus 1 is a positive 4. Well, now we have this long polynomial. And we have to go back and we have to add our like terms. So we'll add this negative 3z squared and this 12z squared. And then we're going to add this negative 12z and this negative 4z. So to do that, well, there's nothing to combine the 3z cubed with, so that's just 3z cubed. And then a minus 3z squared plus 12z squared is a positive 9z squared. A negative 12z minus 4z is minus 16z. And then the 4, we don't have any other constants, so plus 4. So this is the solution for multiplying these two polynomials.